side of the picture. How does that make you feel? And are you trying to move on with your music now? And and are you um, like, what's the future goals for you now? So, you know, like when it comes to that, like it just it's tough because I'm a loyal person. So you've been loyal to something for what a decade and a half, sixteen years. That was in 2006. So I was loyal to that even before 2017, 18 years. Loyal to one thing, you know, to one person, one brand that I helped build. That's why it's, I'm always going to be dope house, like to the fans, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I helped hold that down for so long, just like Juan Gotti helped hold that down yeah. for so long. Just like, you know, to, to the fans, we are dope house, you know what I mean? We are dope house. That sounds like a new label to me. Sounds like a new label. We are, new, we yeah. are dope house. For real. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get keep going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Athena yeah. <laughs> again. No, but um, no, and and that's and that's how it's affected me. So it's like, but at the same time, like, it's like at one point you're like, man, fuck this, I don't want to do this anymore. But then, it, what what else can I do? You yeah. know, like me and Pink's, we had already started this oldies project, yeah. which we're remaking oldies. We're flipping them actually. We're not remaking the same oldie. We're flipping them into new songs, all original songs. And so I think I feel like you know, like you, timing is everything. Yeah. So obviously, all this happened for a reason, and like while I'm in here creating and trying to get and you're on out, tour with us now, and I've been on around. tour with you. So you're not you're not in a you, you got support from people that are out there now. You know, what I'm saying to help build yeah. you up and keep you out of that um you know the negative energy and the um bad stuff that you know whatever is going on in different situations. So now yeah. you have a thing. So I mean. Because yeah. performing has always been my life, touring and performing and performing yeah. live, you know what I'm saying? Just like with you. So it's always been my life. So as long as, as, as people just still want me out there, they still want to hear my voice, they still want to hear my songs, you know, like I, that's where I want to be. That's my life. It's been my life. Yeah. So, um, you know, obviously, obviously he didn't break me, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, obviously he didn't break me because we've been touring, we've still been doing shows after all this stuff with him saying that, you know, you'll never work in this town again type of yeah. mentality. Wow. That was his thing. Like, I can, like, I can without stop me, you. your, your, your career is over. Yeah, and, and then you probably had more shows now than you ever had. I mean, not to discredit the past, but yeah. your shows are kind of going up there. You're yeah. on the road. I haven't had this many shows since like 2014. Yeah. I think that was my last peak yeah. of like a lot of shows. And now, and then of course I was on tour with Quinto Soul. We were doing a yeah. lot of stuff then before the pandemic, but not like right now. Yeah. And We've now, done a yeah. Lot. And you got four, let I me, mean, we'll talk about that later, but yeah. you got shows coming 2023, a full tour is coming out. And, uh, even me as a record label, I don't know, we will sit and talk and see yeah. maybe there's a possibility of doing some kind of project. And we'll ask the fans mm -hmm. about that, what they feel about that. But, you know, we'll keep talking more. But um, before we wrap it up, and shouts out to Coulter. Yeah, it's Coulter. Every, hold it down on the road for us. Yeah. Like, the whole so thing. Coulter, he's a. I want to explain about Coulter. He's a, a a new kid that's on the block, and he doesn't know about the rap game and this yeah. and that. And, and he's out there opening doors and trying to make things happen. And um, yeah, he's been out with you on the tour. Yes. And he also works with me. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're giving little Pletcher a little bit more knowledge of how the streets work and stuff like that. he's a normal good kid shots out culture yeah, he is. but uh yeah back to the saying so man so wrapping it up real quick so um it's because culture it, i'm saying that shout out to culture because he's kind of been out there with me so he yeah. him and i were by ourselves with a lot of this stuff so he was kind of there to see a lot of things yeah. and and there was a situation that i had yes. with him that we, 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 it's nothing to really talk about it was just that an accidental he, thing where he, he like he kind of got you know yeah. in, in a little trouble because he didn't know <laughs> what it, what it was but we let him know after, and he ho and he won't make that mistake again. Uh, but it's nothing to do negative. No, you know? it's, yeah, it, it's some stuff. So yeah, he's just learning as he goes. But uh, yeah, definitely, um, man. Sh any shots out? Uh, yeah, music wise, coming up, tour wise, mm -hmm. and I guess we'll do another podcast and get more detail because we like to talk about facts and um, situation in my spot. And I'm not a great yeah. podcaster, and I'm not a great <laughs> talker, but I'm trying to be. You know, what I'm saying yeah. if you try to be something, you can be something. So. Hey, we're trying this podcast, and no one has ever got the intel from Carolyn Rodriguez. No one. Who was right yeah. there with um, SPM. Um, once again, personally, I don't, I'm don't. i not a person to hate on anybody, but people with allegations on like that, I just, I definitely do not mess with that kind of situation. And uh, obviously, she's a female, and then, you know, we're, we're helping her out to understand a little bit of stuff. 
and shots out and uh yeah man uh shouts anything out else? to you yeah definitely um i'm trying to think is there anything that we left behind i mean i'm just trying to um <sighs> i mean there's a lot of things that we left behind but i guess we could always pick it we back all up come back yeah we yeah. always come back we'll <laughs> let the fans decide and just ask questions and let the music speak too yeah for let it the because music my side is definitely going to be coming out in this oldies project and I, I feel like you should do a song talking about this whole circumstance and uh that would be dope too and uh Shoot, we'll see what's up with that, and maybe yeah. um, we can help produce it, you know, something like that. But other than that, man, um, thank you for coming through. Um, shouts out. Let everyone know your Instagram plugs, whatever there is. Uh, Carolyn Rodriguez, at Carolyn Rodriguez. Um, it's either Carolyn Rodriguez or Medicine Girl for all the all the information. Carolyn Rodriguez music on TikTok. Uh, uh, the real Carolyn Rodriguez on Facebook. I got my Facebook back. So, yeah, um, yeah I know I need to be on TikTok more because I see a lot of shit on TikTok. About me, but I, I don't ever get to do it myself. But Pinks and I did go live last night so people could get a... And I, li- and I like to say something before we end. I, I like to do this interview because I feel like what's right is right. What's, what is uh, justice, what is um, real is real. And being a homie and being in this stuff, like, um, we need to educate the younger people to understand, like, music is music. Respect mm-hmm. your artist, show love, yeah, all that. But um, we can't be blind faded about um bad things about someone might have. Somebody might be something. We have to put that in light and understand that. I know there's a lot of people that are blinded to because of celebrities, but we have to educate our community that we need to um take individual as what it is from yeah, especially that, when you got people doing things for clout now. You yeah. got so many clout there's, chasers there's, right now. Yeah, and there's a lot of things from racism. From um, doing different things, we can't follow the trends of yeah. what of just oh I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do, we have to judge everybody by individuality, and we have to know that, and we have to understand that we can't look at other people. We everyone's human, so we mm-hmm. have to look at people and judge people the way it is. And it's a uh, very important that we educate the people about facts about this situation with you and SPM because there's a lot of chatter about SPM. And we have to speak upon if you're a homie and, and not even a homie, if you're just a regular man that has kids or something that understands that you have to speak on it. Let the people decide after if they like to listen to the music or not. That's on them. You know what I'm saying? But as a man, I have to speak on it and I have to educate the uh, community and the gente that listens to my music because some of my people might be listening to that music also. So that's my perspective. And uh, obviously you had your journey and, You've seen both sides of the story, and uh, you're you well, it's are. It's different as when your artist. personal life gets put out, and it's not just music anymore. Now it's your personal life; it's public. Like, yeah. And you didn't do it; someone else yeah. did it. So it's like you didn't have a choice in the matter. Now you're like, shit. You know, like, what do I do in this situation? Like, who who would know what to do in that yeah. situation? So I didn't say anything for a long time, but yep. then shit just keeps happening. Okay, now this, yeah, now this. Speaking now this, of that, Carolyn like, has never spoke uh, no negative about. Nobody that, at the end of the day, is already considered negative, but she has kept her mouth quiet about it, and that's pretty solid on her part. So much love, but hey, it's a saying like sometimes when it's negative, you got to speak up on it, and you got to educate the people because you might have been a fool, but if you don't help somebody else, they could be the same position yeah. and be fooled, and it could be young females that are dating guys who are liars or dating you know what i'm saying like we have to take in consideration you have to know and love is blind but that's not really true we have to look at love in a situation love has to be respect and they have to respect both ways so you innocent there's innocent like in our time i'm I'm, we're going way off subject that is why you know that song that what is love baby that i don't understand that song now like, it's weird. Like, you start understanding songs when you're older yeah. about love. Because you're like, yeah, now I, I mean, know that this isn't really this. This isn't really exactly. what. Exactly. I mean, there's you know? girls in jail. Like, I'm going to tell like it is. There's girls in jail. When I was in jail, I had 50 girls online. And, right. And I'm writing to them, like, you're my girl, whatever, boo, boo, boo. But, you know, at the end of the day, uh, a lot of females fell for this. And then the guy comes out. Mm-hmm. And he she's all really in love with him. And he oh, don't really give so a damn. Oh, I've seen it so many times. Yeah. So we need to educate the females also. Mm-hmm. And uh, a... I know, guys, game is to be sold, not to be told, but, hey, at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you you yeah. in there, you got to do what you got to do, but also we have to know, educate the females out there who are entrapped with not just a guy in jail, but a guy 
who's this or just because this guy got money or this because this guy looks uh cute to you yeah you have to look at a person's um situation but and also let everybody know you're not just some hood rat off the streets you know what i mean like i'm an educated woman you know i've been in this business for a long time on the business side as well as the as the creative side um i'm a member of the recording academy i'm an advocate for um for you know the laws to change for the artists and producers um i'm on the advocacy board i mean like i'm not some hood rat off the streets you know what i mean and 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 I'm still here. That's why our single's still here. That's coming uh-huh. out. Our first one. I'm still here doing it. You didn't stop anything. You know, like, and that's my advice to all the females, to all the women that, you know, have had to go through things with a man is like, don't let that ever stop you. That should be fuel to your fire. Yeah. That should give you fuel to even go harder. Yep. And on that note, we out of here. Much love. Mr. Capone podcast. Hope you enjoyed it. I ain't the best at doing it, but we're going to get it cracking because we, we, we with the real. So much love. Did a great love. job. Hey, we out. Oh.